Hey, okay, cool. So, I'm gonna go through a demolding process uh, after I've already cast something. I'll put the first section of this video up soon. I'll work backwards. So I'll have to cast that <sighs> after this. <laughs> Anyways, what I have here uh, it are some uh, Stormtrooper molds. And is what I did, I put two of them together in between some plexiglass. Uh, I, I really like this thicker stuff. It holds its rigidity a lot better than the, the thinner stuff. And then that's what I do, I hold them together with rubber bands, one going across, uh, two going across here, and then some uh, doubled up ones going this way. Uh, depends on your mold, so you be the judge. All right, and then you just pull these off, stick them in your rubber band pile, pull off your shells. Sometimes uh, you can use uh, you know, C clamps, but that tends to deform your, your, your resin positives. So I like to use the rubber band and design my mold so that uh, I don't have to use the um, clamps. So then this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start work at one side. These molds themselves are kind of old so they're starting to stick a little bit more to the resin. And uh, depending on how you design your mold you want to be careful when you pull them apart so you don't rip off pieces of rubber. And so here we go. So here is the the mold. So when I pour this, I I use my syringe. Syringe like this with a uh, an extender right there, an extension on it. Just basically their little plastic tubes that I've stuck on the end. Stick it in there and I'll pour slowly. Uh, this right here you can see, I, I, I stick this in there and I'll pour and I'll have an air channel for the, the air to escape. And I usually I'll squeeze the molds together just to get any more air bubbles out. And uh, down here you can see I've got some, some sprues that if there's any air bubbles stuck down there, when I put it in the pressure chamber, it'll suck out, suck, uh, it'll compress the air and suck resin into there so I don't get any bubbles in the fingertips. Um, right here we have what's called, well in a way it's called a worm, worm tube. <laughs> Basically so resin has a harder time getting out to leak through the bottom. Uh, I didn't do it on all of these. Um, Next molds that I make for these, I will. I'll have a nice worm channel at the bottom. Uh, this was just an experiment. And one of the worst things to do is run out of space or be stingy with space. So your mold and you will be happier if you just plan for it and, and allow for the extra stuff, the extra space. Oh yeah, here's another one, just a single. So I can pull these guys off. So I'm gonna look at this. Okay, see I got little uh, pegs at the bottom of the feet, so I don't wanna rip it off have it come off on this side. I don't want to have it come off on this side. The rest, it doesn't really matter where they come off, but with that it does. So then I can just pull that off and I still have a nice foot, foot peg there. See that little guy down there? So yeah, and then you just mold, take them off, clean them up, throw the sprues in the garbage. And continue on with the refining. Here we go.